What's up, y'all? It's yours truly, Mr. Teleferro. I apologize. I've been in and out of town enjoying my Thanksgiving weekend. But the good thing about it is the NBA season is still about only a quarter of the way through. So we got three-fourths of the season. I can tell y'all this. There are no more trips planned for a very long, long time, which means y'all got me until the end of the season. No more setbacks. No more breaks. I'm focused. I got some good energy. Time to lock in and give y'all the videos that y'all deserve. Now, I don't want to just blaster this, this platform with old content and stuff that I missed. I got to take the L for missing a lot. But there's one thing that I can't go without talking about. Oh, my goodness. The other night, the Minnesota Timberwolves were playing the Chicago Bulls. And in a game that they won, 111-96, I could not ignore a stat line I've seen. And I'm going to throw on your screen right now. Minnesota Ford Andrew Wiggins, former number one pick in the draft. I think a lot of people forget that because, remember, he was drafted by Cleveland in 2014. LeBron made the decision to leave Miami and come back home, take his talents back to Cleveland. After uh, LeBron made that commitment to go back to Cleveland, despite his relationship with Dan Gilbert or lack thereof, there was an under-the-table agreement. If LeBron came back, the Cavs would trade anything necessary to get Kevin Love. So the number one pick, Wiggins, was traded that same summer. Never played a game in Cleveland. He was traded for Kevin Love. A lot of people forget that that's the number one pick in the draft. Andrew Wiggins is the number one pick out of Kansas. He was expected to do great things. I think a lot of people looked at Andrew Wiggins as a guy with the, just the athleticism that he has. He's going to figure it out in the league. Everything else will fall in line because this guy's 6'7", 6'8". He's got a T-Mac type build to him. And everything else would follow just because he's going to be such a freak athletically. His uh, jumping off the ground is crazy. Wingspan is crazy. He's going to figure it out. Well, we are in, what, year four, year five of Andrew Wiggins' career. And I don't think it's going to happen for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the other night, Andrew Wiggins made $311,000 in a game. All right? That's what he got paid per game that night. You break it down. You break his contract down. He scored zero points. He grabbed one rebound. He dished out one assist. He had zero steals, zero blocks. And of course, since he scored no points, he didn't make a field goal. He was 0 for 12 from the field. Like I said, he was awarded $311,000 for that game. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't want to make it seem like I'm picking on Andrew Wiggins, but I do have to say this. This is what Jimmy Butler was talking about. What the hell is that? What can I do with that stat line? Zero points is, is god-awful. The one assist is god-awful. But the stat that annoys me the most out of all these stats... Not the blocks, not the steals. The guys go games without blocks and steals. That doesn't mean you're not playing defense. One rebound? You're six, seven, six, eight, and your behind got one rebound? That just tells me that this dude mine went on the game of basketball this night. And the fact that his team won by 15, if I'm an Andrew Wiggins fan or if I'm Andrew Wiggins, I'm not happy about that. I did I literally contributed nothing to the game. Literally. And my team won without my services. I don't care who you're playing. You're playing a professional team. You know, there are guys some nights, Steph Curry a struggle, right? And, and, and Kevin Durant will have it going, or KD a struggle, and Clay's got it going. And the Warriors can still win if, if a couple of their guys don't have it going. That's one thing. If, 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 the, if Draymond scores zero points, I guarantee you that brother got 12 rebounds, maybe five, six assists. Hell, my, maybe got 10 assists. I done seen Draymond go zero points. Double-digit assists and double-digit rebounds before. He's that type of dude. I done seen Kevin Durant. And I don't want to just say the Warriors. I know they're the best team in basketball by far. But I done seen Kevin Durant not have his best night. Go 5 for 14 from the field. Something like that. Still contribute. Nice game. Still got rebounds. He, ain't, he at least trying. Effort is there. Some nights you got it, some nights you don't. A lot of nights, Klay Thompson is off. I bet you behind, he's either defending the top point guard on the other team. 
or defending one of the premier shooting guards we got in this league? How does Andrew Wiggins, a guy who, might I add, doesn't have three or, 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 you know, two or three rings like those guys I just named in Golden State, a young guy on the come up, how does he get to take a night off, literally just took a night off on a max contract? And this dude claimed to be a star in this league. I don't know what the hell Andrew Wiggins and his brother have been talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here today to tell you it's not happening for this kid. It's not about body. It's not about build. It's about want. He doesn't have it. I confidently say Andrew Wiggins will never pan out to be a star in this league. I know he's got a, maybe probably 10 more years in the league. I confidently say he'll never figure it out. You want to know why? Look at these young guys in the league. These young bulls are hungry. DeAndre Aiden. Luka Dunches in the last draft. Those dudes want it. I know they go home. The last thought on their mind is basketball. Not Fortnite. Not a chick. It's basketball. Let's even take it back to a couple guys that's been in the last few drafts. Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Ben Simmons. They might got other things going on, but that love for the game is there. Jalen Brown. All around the league, Dennis Smith Jr. They want it. These dudes, Damian, even Damian Lillard, I know you're a little older, loves this game. Does it mean that they're going to always win? They're going to make it to the Western Conference Finals, Eastern Conference Finals? No, I don't mean that. Things happen. There are better teams out there. I just know that these dudes love the game. These young bulls love this game that has given them, afforded them opportunities that they never would have seen in life. I, I asked this question to Andrew Wiggins, sir. Do you even love this game? Do you like, do you genuinely love this game? Because I just watched a guy act like Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston on their first tour together to get out of Minnesota. And newsflash, I don't know if y'all seen Jimmy Butler lately. He can't keep the smile off his damn face. He's so damn happy. I traded out Wiggins and Townsend and you gave me two new young guys. That you mean they actually want to come to practice? You mean when I call them out on something, they don't cry? They don't act like they don't care? You mean they go back at me? You mean they argue back at me? You mean they care about their job? You mean they actually work? You mean they're not playing Fortnite? <laughs> Yo, I I'm sorry, man. I get it. What Jimmy Butler did, in, in some ways you could say it was wrong. I, you know, it worked out for him. He's on a contending team. He's making, he's their closer now. I, I just think this dude had a bigger point that I think a lot of guys around the league, they, they know. All right? LeBron ain't want him. I know LeBron was trying to go into championship mode. But if you actually look how the NBA turned out, if Wiggins would have panned out to be the player that he was supposed to be coming out of college out of Kansas and Bill Self and company salute to them with the Warriors coming around and getting KD in the next couple you know in a couple years after LeBron returned to Cleveland Wiggins would have been more valuable than a Kevin Love remember Kevin Love was a non-factor in those three finals he missed the first finals in 2015 uh, with an elbow injury he wasn't there for the first finals in the next three years most of those games in the finals Kevin Love was a non-factor they got swept last year in the finals Year before that, they lost in five. He couldn't even stay on the court. And the year before that, I, they, they, they did come back and win the championship in seven games. That's 2016. Honest to God, true. That had little to anything to do with Kevin Love. That was pretty much mostly Kyrie Irving and LeBron James. And, and by the way, to give Kevin Love credit, he did make some big plays in game seven of that finals against the Warriors. I, I will give him that. 2016. I, I give him that. He stayed with Steph Curry on some plays. But overall, he wasn't the guy. Anybody could have stepped in that role, right? So you actually would have needed a guy like Wiggins, a perimeter guy who was supposed to be able to shoot and defend. You could have used the Wiggins against Kevin Durant. So LeBron wouldn't have had to tire out. Oh, let me stick 6'8", six, 6'9", six, Wiggins on KD so LeBron ain't got to worry, be the best offensive guy and best defensive guy. But LeBron ain't want him. He knew what we all knew. The kid wasn't ready then, and the kid ain't ready now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, 
A zero points, one rebound, one. What the hell is that? You grab one rebound in a basketball game? A starting small four? I, I'm sorry, man. This dude thinks he's an all star. He is so far from being an all star in this league. He might not ever get a shot. He might not ever get a shot. Thank y'all so much for the time. Let's put it on. Take it for granted. This, that's ugly, man. That's a disgusting stat line. I'm sorry, man. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.